Interface Video presents Fairfield Today. Brought to you by Fairfield Federal Savings and Loan, Fairfield Medical Center, Fairhope Hospice and Palliative Care, the Fairfield County Board of Developmental Disabilities, the Frankie Smith Funeral Home, Ohio University Lancaster, and Lancaster Fairfield Community Action Recycling and Litter Prevention. Welcome to Fairfield Today. My name is John Bosser. I'm the host of the program, uh, hosted by the Fairfield County Board of Developmental Disabilities. Today we come, we're coming to you from the Opportunity Center and the garden uh, outside the back of the building uh, here on uh, Coon Path Road. Uh, we're going to meet Jackie Marion, who is a member of the Master Gardeners, and she is uh, She's working diligently with these folks, and we'll talk a little bit more about how uh, how the green machine has its uh, farmer's market out here and some of the things that they're selling and some of the things they're, that they're growing for, uh, for restaurants throughout the county. Uh, but first, I'd like to introduce you to Cody Sarenson. Uh, Cody is the director of the No Limits Basketball Camp. Cody, welcome to the program. Thanks, John. Uh, let's talk a little bit about... Uh, this is what third, fourth year, fifth year, fourth sixth year, year seventh year. Yeah, what? It seems like it. Four, fourth year for the basketball camp. Fourth year of the No Limits basketball camp at uh, at OUL. Mm -hmm. uh, what is what are the dates this year? Uh, the dates are Monday through Wednesday, July twenty first, twenty second, twenty third. Okay. Uh, no Limits is an inclusive camp, uh, primarily for kids with disabilities, but mm -hmm. uh, you have a lot of siblings that will come out with their brothers and sisters yeah uh it's it's just a a basic camp that to teach the skills and and to teach kids to have fun with basketball yeah absolutely what was your original idea to to uh to pull this together uh well it all came back i want to say i was going to be a junior it was a summer going into my junior year of undergrad at ohio university lancaster and i remember speaking with you um, about the idea when I was coaching your son at the time, which seems neons ago as well, uh, just to see what your thought was on doing an inclusive basketball camp with individuals with disabilities and not um, with my passion for basketball. And you liked the idea, and we worked together, and it kind of went out from there. Because as far as I know, it's certainly unique here in central Ohio uh, and probably in Ohio, and I would think there aren't that many camps basketball camps for kids with disabilities out there right now yeah no i mean i haven't seen as much i know here in fairfield county we do a wonderful job with including those different sports programs but and i know franklin county has some as well but not as many as we've seen before okay uh now you've expanded this year mm -hmm. yep. uh, talk a little bit about uh how you've incorporated the uh what about four years i think they've been doing a tennis clinic yeah uh rachel barons mm -hmm. uh and she's coming under your wing now yeah yeah rachel this will actually be rachel's fifth year i believe doing the tennis camp um and this will be my fourth year doing the basketball and her and i spoke over the summer uh just to see if she'd be interested in joining the the no limits brand in a sense um just because i know her and i uh, we have the same passion and the same commitment um and the same mission for what we do and we spoke and talked about it and she loved the idea so she decided to join on board, and so we went from No Limits Basketball to No Limits Athletics as a sports-inclusive um, program. And then we've had talks from others thinking about having other sports join the program. Uh, Such as soccer, maybe baseball, yeah. doing mm -hmm. some different things. Yep. Now, uh, Rachel's, Rachel's deal is starting Saturday, July 12th. Yep. Uh, and going the, what, the 12th, 19th, and 26th, 26th, and then it picks up again August 2nd, August 2nd I believe, as, yeah. as, a, as the 4th. Yes, sir. And that's 9.30 to 10.30 at the Radishita Tennis Center behind yep. uh, or near near Lancaster High School, mm -hmm. their, 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 their tennis courts. And and that's the same kind of thing. It's it's uh, it's primarily for kids with disabilities. Uh, Rachel's, uh, Rachel's sister, they played tennis together for quite a long time, and, yep. and she wanted to have an idea, wanted to have a an opportunity for for other kids to, to, to do the same thing yeah 
Tell me a little bit more about uh, about how camp, how your camp is structured. Yeah, uh, my camp, a lot of my camp is structured based on my personal experience going through uh, Gale Force basketball camps at Lancaster High School growing up. And uh, we'll do a lot of skill and development, um, different drills throughout the camp days. And they're only, we have our camp divided up into sessions and they're only an hour and a half for each session. So we'll have a lot of uh, drills and skills being developed, but we also do a lot of fun activities um, and different types of competitions for our kids to get involved in and get excited about as well. So everything you've learned from the great Dave Davis, you're trying to carry it. Oh, absolutely. As well as Jack Greathouse and everyone else. Oh, everyone else, absolutely. And now Luke Truax, because you, you're, you're part of the coaching staff. Yes, sir, yep. At Lancaster High School as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you're just starting a new job. Yep. With uh, Lancaster City Schools. Yep. You've gotten your master's and your, your undergrad from OUL, your master's from Muskingum. Muskingum, yep. Well, that's, that's exciting. You're... Uh, Moving up, yeah. <laughs> finally, finally, a contributing member of society. Yeah, I, I'm trying, at least, yes. My, no, you're not a taker anymore. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Make, making your mama proud. Uh, hopefully. Speaking of your mama, uh, Sherry Sarenson has provided tons of support for you over the last oh, few yeah. years. Oh, yeah, uh, Give a little shout-out to to the work that she's done. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's my mother, God love her. She has been so wonderful in helping out with the camps and even growing up as a kid, just being at all the sporting events. She was always the president of our club. So, I mean, she knows what she's doing, and she's right there behind me. And I, we were just talking the other day um, about camp and different things we need to do for the cookout and whatnot. So she, she does a fantastic job. Okay. Uh, anything else you'd like to say about the camp? What, what, you, what Talk about your... Uh your guest speaker this year. Yeah, yeah, we have a phenomenal guest speaker named Jim Basketball Jones, and he's from the Toledo area, and he's done over thousands and thousands of assemblies, um, mostly in elementary schools, but he'll do big promotional events as well um, throughout the country, and he came to our school when I was working at South Elementary this past year, and it was the most amazing thing I've ever seen, and it lasted, it was about an hour long, but it was an time just flew by with everything he was doing with the kids and getting them involved and he just does a phenomenal job and he he does all these types of basketball tricks and different moves and with music playing and it's just real engaging um, to watch and so we're really excited for him to be able to come out this year to speak to our kids okay uh, tell us again about the uh about the camp sessions, the dates, yep. and how people can get a hold of you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, camp, again, is July 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. And then on the Monday and Tuesday, the 21st and 22nd, the first session, which is ages 9 to 12, go from 5 to 6.30. And then the second session on those two days is from 6.45 to 8.15. Uh, in the evening and then on the last day the 23rd camp is from 5 to 7 both sessions are combined that's when the guest speakers coming that's when we're having our cookout and that's when the fun really begins is on that last day and then a way to get to register online which is new this year as well is to go to www.nolimitsathletics.com okay no uh no punctuation there, just no limits. No athletics one all word. Together. Yep, all one word, lowercase. No limits. Athletics. dot com. Okay. We should also mention that uh, that there is a wheelchair component. You have uh, yeah. You have wheelchairs donated by by Social. Social. Mm -hmm. And Derek Up kind of runs yep. that for you. Yep. Uh, who is who's, who's kind of a fixture around here? So. Oh yeah, he's a big deal. So we're excited to have him come out again this year to help out. Okay. Well, Cody, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me on. Okay. Uh, when we come back, we'll sit down with Jackie Marion and learn more about our farmer's market. Today, about one in five Americans is living with a disability. Over 50 million people, including many of our friends and neighbors, teachers and coworkers, heroes and leaders. 20 years ago, the Americans with Disabilities Act guaranteed every person the right to live, work, and participate fully in the American experience. We've come a long way since then, and we are committed to making even more progress in the years ahead. Visit disability.gov to see how you can help.
Well, welcome back. Uh, my guest now, I'm being joined by Jackie Marion, who is uh, the leader of the Green Machine Master Gardeners, formerly the Weeders. Yes. Jackie, welcome. Thank you. It's good uh, to be here. So tell me a little bit about uh, about your garden here. You've been doing this for the, this is the third year or fourth year? Is it third year. This is the third year. Third year. Yes. Uh, and you've done, you've expanded each year. Yeah, we have. <laughs> and grown, <laughs> added new things and uh, added new new programs. We're uh, the, the shelter that we're under is new this year. It is. It gives some. Uh, terrific. Some, uh, some break from, from the heat and. Mm -hmm. And when it's raining outside, you, you can you can come under here and do some right, things. Right. Then uh, that was a, that was made possible through a grant, correct? Or no? Actually, uh, the Board of De Developmental Disabilities put this okay, up for us. Okay. Okay. So this was this yeah, was the, yeah. the county board did this. They did. But you had a grant that paid for a wheelchair ramp. Yes, you partially. Had, uh, you have some some raised beds that were uh, paid for by grant money. We got a grant from the Fairfield Foundation to put in 10 or 12 raised beds this year. I think we actually ended up with maybe 10 because we put in two wheelchair accessible ramps, okay. which are great for the folks that come out. They can use the ramp now. In fact, we have someone sitting up there right now weeding, and they have an opportunity to come out and help us in the garden, which is great for them. Okay. Uh, and then tell me about some of the other things that, that, that you're doing. Anything... Any new new plants this year? Did you uh, have berries last year? Well, we planted a garden last year called a Garden of the Future. So we planted some berry bushes and some rhubarb. And we have a few berries this year. We have some gooseberries coming on, which we're kind of excited about. And we've already sold uh, one crop of rhubarb to Susie Cork at Shaw's, which I think she made a rhubarb tart or something with, which is kind of fun. <laughs> Uh, before we go too far, I just want to make one correction. Uh, I, I am not the leader by myself. There is a oh, lady by the name of Trish Jones who was not able to be here right. today. And we have about 10 or 12 master gardeners that help us with our projects. But, but Trish is an instrumental part of what happens out here. She's the mechanical person. I'm, I'm trying to pound a stake out there and it won't even go in the ground. So <laughs> I miss Trish. Okay. We have a lot of new things this year. Yes, we did expand the garden a little bit. Um, the first year, the garden was, I think, 1,500 square feet. Last year, it went up to uh, uh, 6,500 6, square feet, and we think it's about 7,000 this okay. year. We have a uh, high tunnel greenhouse, which was donated to us, which will be operational this fall, we hope, and we'll be mm -hmm. able to grow some uh, green lettuce crops in there. We uh, have the raised beds, which is terrific. We also got a grant from Fairfield County Farm Bureau to help us get water to the garden. Every year we get a little bit more sophisticated in what we do here. Last year we had hoses running out the door. This year we actually can go out and turn on a, a lever and have water, which is terrific. Th this year also uh, something new is we planted a garden specifically for the green machine. They always like to have their own things to right. take home at the end of the day, so we did that. We're having our market like we always do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 11 to 2. And we're back behind the Board of Developmental Disabilities um, building. But we have signs on 33. You should be able to see the signs when you drive down. And we have a lot more people actually working out here this year, which is fun for us, too. We've got several new people. And um, they help plant. They help harvest. And they're learning skills that would help them be employable in the community. And that's real important to us. There, there's two things that are important, that they learn some skills that can help them in other uh, employable opportunities and that we get people from the community involved and come in here to see what we're doing. We, we want this to be a destination place. That's why we have a labyrinth over there, which is really exciting. We have a butterfly garden. We uh, want people to bring their children here and show what, what can be done. Right. Uh well, and, you know, it's, you talk about employability, and several of, the, of, of our folks have gone on to find employment. But, I mean, you know, for them to be able to, to go out maybe work at a garden center, right. uh, you know, learn, learn new skills. You know, so many uh, 
people think that if someone has a disability, they can only work in food service. They, mm -hmm. they could only they can only clean or things like that. But we we were finding that uh, that they have a lot more skills that they can give. Absolutely. I was just over there weeding with Jonathan, and he and I were talking about weeds and how the weeds stop the plants from growing. And I said, now, Jonathan, do you feel good about the difference between a weed and a plant? And he said, oh, yes, I know the difference. So he's learned that. We also uh, have opportunities when the customers come into the market to learn customer service skills. Right. How do you go up and approach a customer, welcome them, show them what we have to sell, and then the whole cashier process, right. cashing out mass skills, uh, weighing skills. We have a scale, so they have to weigh and convert <laughs> We keep track every day of our sales. So there's a lot of different skills that can be learned through an operation like this. Let's talk a little bit about the hyper tufas that we have okay. here. Okay. Uh, through the winter and then, well, through the through the rest of the year as well, they they use molds uh -huh. and make these. Hyper tufas. Hy well, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a it's a strange name, isn't it? It is. Uh, and if you put it in word check, it never likes it. Uh, <laughs> they make them out of a, a vermiculite and concrete so they're much lighter than they look right and then we help them plant them we uh, we made fairy gardens for a long time we kind of got away from that this year and did more annuals and more succulents because that seems to be a new trend in gardening or the succulents but we still do fairy gardens um, and they make those all winter long and we've kind of expanded that we have mushrooms this year mm -hmm. Now they, these are for sale. They are for sale. What are, what are the, what, give me an idea what the prices are well, for these. Well, this one that I'm looking at right here is $9 and it even has a little ferry in it. Uh, they're for sale at Cornersmith in Canal Winchester and anybody really can come in here to the front desk and we could sell them here. And we also sell them not planted if someone's interested. Oh, okay. And okay. They're, they're hardy. You can put them outside and they'll last through the winter. Okay. They won't disintegrate. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about the about the uh, the farmers market. When, when you're open Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, or? Friday, eleven to two, and we're open right now. We have uh, onions and kale and spinach and radishes and turnips and beets for sale right now. We have cilantro, dill. And hopefully next week we'll start to have some tomatoes. Some tomatoes coming we in. We have some zinnias for sale. So we and we eventually will have sunflowers for sale. So we we uh, have a wide variety here of things, and we have this wonderful shelter so people can come in and browse and see what we have available. So the zinnias, what uh, you just we cut them and sell them cut as the, cut okay, flowers. Cut, cut flowers. Mm -hmm, sure. Yeah. Okay. Do they have any other use while they're here, or look pretty? To, no, just just to look pretty. They don't <laughs> yeah. uh, they don't uh, draw draw butterflies or anything you mentioned a butterfly garden well earlier. the butterfly garden is over there and we have a lot of sunflower volunteers too there's one that's probably four feet tall already because <laughs> that was our sunflower patch last year and and you'll see them scattered around the birds take them around to different places um, but we like flowers too so even if we didn't sell them we enjoy them so that's what's important and we have fun things in the garden we have bowling balls and all kinds of little sculptures and whirly gigs we want this to be a fun place for us and for people that come to visit too. Okay, talk a little bit more about you. You have you have a specific garden that's grown for for uh, the green for machine. Shaws. Oh, for shawls. Yes, we do. Susie Cork is probably our biggest fan, and she loves green tomatoes. She likes little tiny cucumbers and radishes and carrots. So we buy particular seeds or plants just for her. Okay, and she. Um, we, we d deliver to her every week, and Susie Harley ever says, I don't need anything. We, she's just a great supporter. If you go there, and you'll see on the menu that she gives us credit on the menu for local okay. produce. Yeah. And, well, you also have microgreens that you do for her. We do. We uh, sell. Which you do grow throughout the year indoors. Indoors, yes. We, under grow lights. We grow little seeds to uh, uh, about two inches high, harvest them. In fact, today was planting day. We harvest them, uh, rinse them, and package them and sell them to yeah. Shaw's Village Wines in Canal Winchester and Rhapsody in, um, uh, I forget the name of the town. Zanesville. Nelsonville. Oh, Nelsonville. Nelsonville, okay. Rhapsody is the uh, culinary restaurant for Hawking. Oh, for Hawking Tech. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 
for Hawking College, no? Yeah, yeah. so th those those uh, restaurant people are very, very good supporters of us. They've okay. been wonderful. Well, tell us one more time uh, okay. about the about the, uh, the, about the farmer's market. Farmer's market, yeah. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 11 to 2, Coon Path and 33 behind the Board of Developmental Disabilities. Okay. And we can pick to order. If somebody comes in and says, hey, I want some spinach, we'll go over there and pick them some spinach. Okay. Sounds awesome. Great. Well, Jackie, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. I always enjoy being here with you, John. Okay. Until next month, this is John Bosser for Fairfield Today. Interface Video presents Fairfield Today. Brought to you by Fairfield Federal Savings and Loan. Fairfield Medical Center, Fairhope Hospice and Palliative Care, the Fairfield County Board of Developmental Disabilities, the Frank E. Smith Funeral Home, Ohio University Lancaster, and Lancaster Fairfield Community Action Recycling and Litter Prevention.